I might love this. Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm a sandwich. And welcome to the BS. The Bowling Otter Show. Hey, are well, you going to leave that in the intro? Yes. Did you guys just see that? It just, it just started. <coughs> we were getting ready to do the intro. <laughs> and it, we were accosted. Yes. By. It captivated us. Wait. Wait a minute. That outstanding intro. Anyway, we're going to play I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good dating simulator. It's because it's Valentine's Day. Because it's Valentine's Day. And we always wanted to play this. Yeah. We saw it coming around, and we were thinking of, we always play a weird dating sim around uh, around Valentine's Day. And can we just say that we were looking in the dating sim section oh of my God. Steam? <gasps> yeah, that was not you what guys. I expected. So, oh, my God. I'm not Yo, sure. It's it's like dirty, dirty. <laughs> it's like dirty games. Like there's We're like, hey, what's like a new dating sim we can play? And then we went to the dating category on Steam, and that was not what I thought we, was going we, to be there. We sat down and we went like, hey, you know, this game is kind of it's been out for a couple years, and we were like, you know what? Let's look and see if anything new has come out. Maybe that we would like bump this out for, even though we really wanted to play it. And we looked and. <gasps> <gasps> To Pearls my clutched. horror. Yes. What? <laughs> Just wow. But yeah, so we wow. left. We were like, There's let's do Colonel Sanders. Lives. But now. It's a very but active now, genre. It is very active. <laughs> but now we have we have sexy Colonel Sanders, apparently. Yes. Yes. He smolders, Matthew. Yes, smoldering Colonel Look, Sanders. He, they made his little tie smaller. <laughs> 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 like that makes it sexier. His tie is huge, <laughs> Colonel Sanders. You're supposed to be, you know, like the sign of masculinity, the phallus, the tie. You know? Yes, that. That's what ties are, the phallus. Yeah. It's supposed to. Symbolize. That's what I think about I every time I put a tie code. on. I'm like, I'm trying to hang a wiener. Yeah, from my it neck is. Right now. That's the same thing as like the sergeant, uh, like the in the military, like yeah. the things that's supposed to be a, a phallus. Phallus <laughs> <laughs> in the chalice. Phallus <laughs> in the chalice. But <laughs> so we we want to date Colonel Sanders. Apparently, yes. we digress. Yes. Let's find out what that's all about. Here Maddie, we go. what do you think he keeps in that little Tell pocket your there? Name. In his little dirty pocket. Um, uh, dirty pocket is our name. It's a little, it's a microfiber cloth for his glasses. Oh, for, oh. That's what that is. That's definitely what that, that is. That little teeny tiny taut pocket. Yes. That's right, close to his bod. Yes. Okay, you want to pick a first name and I'll oh. pick a, a second name or okay. vice versa? What do you want? The okay. first name or the second name? Um, I'll do the, um, uh, I'll do the first name. Okay. How much, like, space do we have? Do you think we have a lot of space? <laughs> I have no idea. We're going to find out when we get the name. We'll see what happens. Hold on. Um, oh. oh, we have a lot of space. Oh, okay. And can we do spaces? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can. Okay. All right. We're good. Are you ready? Yep. All right. I have a last name. Which, okay. All right. What's your first name? Ready? Port. Biscuit. <laughs> Port Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Please arrive at Port Biscuit promptly at noon for Port an Biscuit. engagement. Welcome to Port Biscuit. <gasps> we are see, Port Biscuit. I was trying to keep with the theme. Port Biscuit you personified. did not keep with the theme. Oh my God. <laughs> you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Ooh. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> Or you could wake up. Now, 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 your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that clock up and at him. That's the right. clock out the window, stand back forever. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, we're going to go. Okay. We want to go to culinary school. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, <laughs> Academy for Learning. Oh. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Mm. You'll need to take this seriously. Allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. Let's take this seriously, That's gosh right. darn it. Come on, Port. I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Or my name's not Port Biscuit. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. Woo! You confidently grab a biscuit. Shut out the door and head off to class. Oh my God. Our namesake, it's a sign. <gasps> Are we? That's a pork biscuit. Oh my God. Just what you Just need. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. I'll tell you what though, those KFC biscuits are amazing. Yes. They and are. They Absolutely are. Yeah. They are delicious. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. That's a beautiful freaking tree. 
It is pretty. A little cherry Here blossom comes your tree. lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh my god. You want to be Miriam? Yes. Okay. Good morning, Port Biscuit. Are you excited <laughs> for the first day of the rest of our lives? She's 90. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, actually, I'm... Because I sure am. Excited? A little nervous? Okay. Okay, a lot nervous. I sound like Nathan Lane in the birdcage. <laughs> it's working I gotta up. commit now. What's the... It's just that. This morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, my God. Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Yes. Ever since we were little babies playing together and <laughs> you rescued me from that old. quicksand box, <laughs> it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> But with University University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. Ugh. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Oh yeah, she's going a little hard. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Uh, pep talk your best friend. I'd pep talk. Yeah. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. This, the, the accent actually works perfectly for this. Does it? And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. Oh, because we're our good friend. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs like me. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe I cut them myself? <laughs> you can you, definitely believe it. Hey, I think she looks great. I, uh, I cannot believe it. I think she's wonderful. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands <laughs> and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Who's Ashley? Oh. Uh, am I Ashley or are you Ashley? Well, I have a feeling you're going to have to be Colonel Sanders. Okay, so you right? got to be Ashley. So that means I have to be Ashley. Give me a moment. Okay, you need to create an let Ashley. Me <laughs> let, me, because, let me think of Ashley. Okay, let's look at context Ashley. Context clues? Yes. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to. And look at the first line. Look at, look at the first dialogue gonna, you're going to get. What does that voice sound like? I'm not going to think about it too hard. I'm just going to use my own voice. Oh, I did see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> you leave pot biscuits shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. Hey, you know Ashley. for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra Ooh. letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Aish. Ashley. If anyone here Aish. knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, Ooh. has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Yeah! Ahem. Van Van! <laughs> you rang rang. Ooh. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as Great. close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, <laughs> there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Hey, Maddie, this is kind of fun. Let's go, Miriam! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, losers! 
Hi. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Good God. What am I doing here? What? Um. What? Uh. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Here? Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. His name is Pop. Could mm -hmm. someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but oh. I guess he's reading it upside down. That could be the uh, case, yes. Hi, Pop. I'm Pork Biscuit. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. And out of your life! <laughs> Oops. Oh. I think it's just you. <laughs> you both shrug your shrug. I took your line. I don't know what it was. How dare you? <laughs> you both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in to keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable! Sprinkles. Are you going to be sprinkles? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw his name sprinkles! <laughs> okay, uh, sprinkles. I'll be sprinkles. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. <laughs> Who is this unreasonably cute pup? And why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I made a cute little fluffy, but I still demand respect for Wolf. <laughs> what? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Oh, that's a really cute Out idea. of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then, he walks in. <laughs> you are immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands Just look still. at Miriam over here on the left. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's him. It's... And this is my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Oh. Oh, oh he needs a really <laughs> smexy, really smexy voice. Can't give a... What are the... <clears throat> oh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> Please, call me Colonel. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Oh my god, everybody Sweat haunts. begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a muddle and evaporates entirely. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your weird insults? Besides, when Port Biscuit sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Take a moment to clean yourself up. Dab, 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 it's a dab, good dab, thing dab. you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> uh, look. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for learning the great culinary academy of the world. He's a dog. He's a little flat. <laughs> <laughs> the birth place for culinary lessons, past, present, and future. <laughs> Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. There will be tears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a th in there somehow. <laughs> and when all fed and done, there will be a baffle. You will lift your sports and complete in the broom cooking arena. Th Just then, another student enters the classroom and oh, interrupts no, I don't the have professor's any more voices. speech. <clears throat> Should I do this one? Sure. Okay. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... <laughs> Quiet! <sighs> Wait to clap? It's bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? 
don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. <laughs> no. Everyone stares at him blankly. Like Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. <laughs> Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across the town on his tiny wheels. What? You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen <laughs> appliance. <laughs> <laughs> what? <coughs> Okay. Uh oh. Oh, okay. The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. What? <laughs> Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. <laughs> Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. Mm. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. What kind? How about uh, a ball? A rubber ball? I think he would just critique any food that we gave him. Okay. So okay. that's why I'm saying a ball. Okay. Okay. You reach beneath your apron and return with a rubber ball in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. You toss the ball and he bounds after it, grabbing it in his mouth and swinging it from yeah. side to side before dropping it. Get it. The thrill passes quickly. It's not clear if that endeared you to him <laughs> or not. Like he couldn't handle himself. <laughs> Settle down, young chef. <laughs> Take your seat. <laughs> and prepare to have your minds opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Oh my god. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Oh, Only no. two options remain. <gasps> Hey, pork biscuit! There's still a seat here! It seems that no one's claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Two good options, but which will you choose? Oh. Well, I mean... Oh. Well, it depends on if we're trying to hit that. That's, that's the, well, isn't that the name of the game? So we're trying to hit that. I think we're trying to hit so Colonel Sanders. So maybe we Sanders. should sit next to Colonel Sanders. We should probably sit next to Colonel Sanders. Sorry, Miriam. Oh. He's going to be sad. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Sit up straight. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. Oh. That's so inspiring. <laughs> a little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settle wow. into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. <laughs> it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. Oh my God. This is incredibly important. And surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. Train A is traveling to point B. Train B is uh, train B is traveling to point A. How important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Uh, extremely. Looking at, looking you, at you, Pop. pop. <laughs> That's right. Forest is to tree, and ticket is to a slam dunk. Night vision goggles and a feather. Ooh. Ooh. Which we think? What do you think? Maybe let's do, night vision let's goggles. Let's do night vision goggles. Okay. That's, That's wrong. wrong. <laughs> what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Hmm. Uh, a comically oversized fork. I we were just talking about the spork. Yes. What well, is a spork, especially is, in comparison to these? Yes. But I love a spork. Not enough uh, opportunities, says I. What food is best for a broken heart? <laughs> a camel meat? A pancake that looks like a silly face. <laughs> Anything, as long as it is prepared with love and not too much salt. Oh, that's deep. That's the one. Okay. That's right! Ah! Wow. <laughs> it sprinkles a good boy. <laughs> yes. Oh. He's, talking to him. He's the best boy! He's the boy. best boy! That's right! Look at that. Your total score is four out of five. Did we impress him? Only one wrong, not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. 
You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He nods with approval. Hmm, yes. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! All right, that was a quick look at I love you, Colonel Sanders. Yo. That's, that's kind of a... Uh, funny adorable and you know i forgot how much i miss making voices with you in these yeah, games yeah. we don't play too many of these games so much anymore and um yeah it's fun yeah maybe we should stream this and keep maybe. playing it that let us know in the comments it. yeah i love these this I mean, is so I mean, funny but the other dating sims oh my god yeah i feel like i gotta go take a shower <laughs> Oh my goodness, righteous. My goodness. Don't kink shame, Lissy. Don't kink shame. I'm just saying, I was surprised. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you had fun. Yeah. I had a great time. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Day.